Hello, and welcome to my Let's Play for Spellcasting 101. I apologize for the extreme delay on getting these out. It's been like a year's worth of technical difficulties, and then even now, when I, or even like a couple of days ago, I was like, alright, I'm finally going to start this, and then I was having more trouble getting this to work, and... Finally, I think I'm ready. So, um, yes, yeah, so this is going to be my Let's Play for Spellcasting 101. After receiving a lot of positive feedback from my Eric the Unready Let's Play, I've decided to tackle another game in a very similar manner. Uh, some warnings before I begin. In my opinion, this is a much harder game and much less straightforward. I'm certainly no expert of all its game paths and elements, so I heavily suggest viewers to try this game out for themselves if they like it. In particular, there's a lot of elements in this game that serve no purpose towards completing it. And while I'm going to try to look as much as I can for my own edification as well as yours, there's no guarantee that I'll be able to even skim the surface of it. I'm not going to hide the fact that I'm using a walkthrough to help organize this Let's Play, because, don't be fooled, I do not know this game very well at all. I only played it and beat it quite a long time ago. Um, another matter, the content of this game. It's a raunchy fantasy comedy, much in the same lines of uh, Leisure Suit Larry meets Harry Potter, that sort of thing. And I'm going to be playing it on naughty mode, as uh, what's the fun otherwise. Though the game contains no explicit pornography, it does contain several detailed passages that may offend some viewers and may not be appropriate for others. Please use your own judgment on whether or not to watch this series. Uh, a reminder that these passages are there for the purposes of satire and comedy. So, thank you again for watching, and I hope you enjoy the series. So, I just type in and access it, and here we go, Legend Entertainment presents... Spellcasting 101. Sorcerers get all the girls. There we are. Okay, do I want to restore? No. So, Spellcasting 101, everybody. Another red letter day. Like an animal locked in the attic. A beating by your drunken stepfather, Joey Rottenwood, the only respite from boredom. But clutched in your hand an application. Your ticket to freedom. The drab walls fade into images of laboratory magic, jousting matches, fraternity parties. Approaching footsteps and creaking hinges jerk you back to reality. You shove the application into the desk drawer, stealing yourself for the beating of a lifetime, and then melt with relief as your mother enters. Ernie, hide that! Your father is in a foul mood! Considering the welts on your back from some of... Oh, no. It's cutting me off. Ah, uh, I'm gonna see if I can restart just so I can get the rest of that. I didn't expect it to cut me off. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. Uh, okay, where were we? Ah, uh, your father is in a foul mood. Considering the welts on your back from some of Rottenwood's good moods, you don't want to deal with him in a foul mood. Don't call him father, Mum. Hush! If he hears you say that, I don't care. He beats no matter what I say. A slurred voice bellows from below. Pam! Woman! Where's my ale? I told you to keep my mug filled! Pam! I'd better go. Be careful, Ernie! She kisses you tenderly, then slips away, carefully rebarring the door. And I apologize about that momentary interruption. Uh, yeah, let's click further. Chapter 1. Escape. The Sunday school teacher asked, Who can tell me what we must do before we can ask forgiveness of sin? After a long silence, the people suggested, Well, first we've got to sin. Traditional. Bachelor. Noun. A man whom women are still sampling. Ambrose Bierce. Alright, and thus we begin our tale. Bedchamber. Your domain is the draftiest, cobwebbiest attic in the whole village of Port Gecko. Its only adornment, a plain writing desk. Two windows pierce the exterior wall on the south side of the room. A small, smelly room lies to the north, and a heavy closed door dominates the western wall. Opposite the heavy door is a large fireplace whose crackling fire fails to conquer the room's chilly drafts. In the corner is a pile of rotting hay. The only thing you have that passes for a bed. So, you guys can make your own comparisons right out the bat to Harry Potter. 
in so many ways, but uh, I'm, I'm going to leave that out of this Let's Play. So I'm going to save this. Uh, I see other people saving as um, the situation they are in. So, uh, trapped in room. Just to keep a certain organizing. So yeah, uh, if you watch my Eric the Unready Let's Play, it's the it's the same setup. You can move around like that. You can adjust your display with these uh, items in the room. You can interact with actually items in your inventory too, I believe. Uh, actions, the common ones, and then there's like a whole list. You can also interact with things directly in the window, and you can type in if you want to do it text style. Uh, so I'm actually just gonna I'm gonna be examining everything. Uh, bear with me if you're not used to let's plays that involve a lot of talking and because this game is there's a lot of dialogue and I'm gonna be trying to you know access as much of it as much that I think is worthwhile as possible. So uh, first of all. Well, examining the bedchamber, I think, just brings up the description you just heard. Ah, uh, draftiest, yeah. Uh, let's examine the chimney. Let, or rather, let's examine the chimney. Uh, you see nothing special about the chimney. Let's examine the cloak. I, you've seen one cloak, you've seen them all. Now, I have a limited amount of time, which is one of the reasons I saved before, and I'm going to be... Um, restoring that save to, you know, probably use up some extra time so I can show you different things. Uh, examine the cobweb. You see nothing special about the cobweb. Oh, this is all boring. Come on, show me something special. Examine the crack, which I think is... I don't know, that crack? Uh, there's nothing within the crack but a lot of old dust. <coughs> Alright, so then you... The bedchamber door bursts open and in swaggers your stepfather, Joey Rottenwood, a wiry mousetrap of a man. His reflexes and muscles have been owned by a lifetime of barroom brawls. He has one of those faces that never looks as though it can produce a smile, but then on those occasions when it does, you wish mightily that it hadn't. Uh, Rottenwood jerks open the writing desk and grabs the application. He hurls it to the floor, bellowing, You are not going to become a wimp of a wizard, you little creep. In fact, I've just this day bonded you in servitude to an old pal in the Dragon Tending Guild. He'll be collecting your miserable little hide in three hours. You'll spend the next seven years becoming a man, picking parasites out of dragon scales, carting away dragon dung, rebuilding charred cages, It'll build character. Is that a sound effect? Uh, it'll build muscles. Lord knows you could use some. He whirls and slams the door behind him. A scrape and subsequent clank tells you that the door has been rebarred. All right, so let's continue examining things. Uh, ah, Harry Potter comparison. All right, enough of that. So, examine the door. It's a sturdy wooden door, barred from the outside. And the fire. Have you seen one fire? Do they not have descriptions for all of these? See one fireplace? Oh, it's a simple brick fireplace with a wide chimney leading into the rafters. A fire crackles in the fireplace, casting dancing shadows on the walls, but failing to stay the drafty coldness of the bedchamber. Oh, I forgot something very important. I'm actually, you know what, I'm going to restore now and, uh, trapped. Oh, it only does the first word, does it? Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out one word descriptions. Ah, uh, <laughs> I, I promised this before. And you have to type in naughty, and you are now in naughty mode. And, uh, I hope you will enjoy it all the more for that fact. Uh, let's examine the left window. The window looks out onto an alley between your home and the home next door. In the alley, you can see a horse-drawn cart about 20 feet down the alley to the left. Across the alley, you can see into the window of Lola Tigerbelly's bedchamber. Many are the hours that you have spent gazing longingly at that silhouetted figure. The window is closed. And... Let's examine me, why not? You're one scrawny little guy. You're one nerdy little guy. But mostly, you're one horny little guy. And let's examine... Is this just going to be the description of my room? Yeah, description of my room, same as before. I'm going to try to keep the length of these videos closer to 10 minutes, not the new 
15 minute or whatever limit just just because last time I was making a let's play I kept on getting over and then I had to crop things and cut them out so uh, I'm just gonna finish looking at things and then we'll go on to the next part uh, examine the old horse this skinny old mare looks as if it could barely pull this heavy laden cart the horse's ribs protrude from its leathery skin the footsteps are getting closer alright and there's that pile of hay that's my bed uh, the hay is disgusting and riddled with thousands of tiny bugs just like this game <laughs> All right, uh, we've I read that before. What? The? Yeah. Uh, let's examine the rat. Robbie the rodent is just one of the many lovely little creatures with whom you share your lovely little quarters. Well, that's a cute name, Robbie the rodent. Uh, Tiger Belly home. The Tiger Belly house is similar to yours. A uh, sturdy building of old weathered stones thing I want to examine. And that is the writing desk. The desk is an old flimsy affair with all the defects of an antique without any of its charm. It's here only because Rottenwood is too lazy to lug it away to the dump. It has a solitary drawer. Alright, I'd like to thank you for watching uh, the first uh, chapter, part of this. I promise you next time we're actually going to do stuff and we are going to escape this uh, lofty room, perhaps in more ways than one. Uh, so until next time.